Welcome to my channel, Hip Said. Today's video is you guessed about the title, a look into my everyday makeup drawer for the month of August. And if you don't know what an everyday makeup drawer is, it's just basically a drawer like this that I've filled up with makeup from my collection, so products I've kind of forgotten about and or I want to use up, as well as new products as well that I've purchased or recently received to review for you guys. So if you would like to see what I have this month, please keep watching. So let's start off with this little section. I just have these two eyeliners from Rimmel London and these are just exaggerate uh, pencils. They're the wind up pencils. So I have them in the shades in the nude and rich brown. So I'm hoping to finish these up because I don't have that much left to go in them. So yeah, hopefully fingers crossed. Um, I really do like these for the waterline because they go in really smoothly, they don't budge. They're really pigmented as well. So these are what the shades look like if you're just curious. And yeah, I just really like the form of these. So I'm hoping to use them up. Uh, and then I have in the little section next to it is just one of the Revlon matte lip colors and this is in Devotion I believe. Um, I have been using on and off the metallic one. I'll just quickly get it for you and show you guys. This is the one I have in Glam. Um, so I've been using that. To be honest, this one's just a little bit sheer. It's not as opaque as I would like it to be, but there's still some pigment to it, and it doesn't last too long on the lips, especially when you start eating or drinking. Um, but yeah, it, it still has a really nice formula to it. It's nice and hydrating. It's not too drying. So I'm going to try out this one and see if I like this uh, formula better. I know this one's a lot more pigmented when I swatched it. It's really nice and pigmented. But yeah, I'm going to just check it out. If you have tried these, do let me know in the comments below. This is the shade Devotion. And then here I have just some fragrances from Gala and Givenchy and a little Benefit Professional, which I do actually need to find a better place for. It should really go in. I should kind of go with the face stuff, but yeah, I'm going to move that at some point. And then here I have just some lipsticks and lip balms. So I have three lip balms. I have one from Burt Bees, which to be honest, I don't like the taste of it. It really is nice and moisturizing, but it has a really weird taste to it, which it really is not nice at all. So I've kind of just not been using it as often as I would like to. Um, I have the Caramex Cherry one, which I absolutely love. Um, and then I also have the Maybelline Baby Lips, which I love Maybelline Baby Lips. Um, I've had this for a really long time though, so I'm thinking I'll use it a little bit more this month, hopefully. Um, otherwise, I will chuck it because it is quite old. But I have used quite a bit. I've used like at least, I think at least two thirds of it. So yeah, so this is how much I've got left. Um, it's a really nice tinted uh, lip balm, which I really do like. Um, it's nice and hydrating as well. And then here I just have some samples that I haven't really been getting around to using. Um, I don't know, I just, I've been really bad at trying out this makeup. So I have just some Kat Von D naked skin kind of stuff uh, that I need to try out. I don't really need to do any mu too much color correcting on my skin luckily, but it, because it is getting hotter so I may be getting a bit more redness, I will hopefully try these out at some point. So just behind this, I just have some more eyeliners and eye kind of products. I have eyeliners from NARS, um, Marc Jacobs, uh, ELF, I think, and also LA Girl as well. And then I just have two mascaras from uh, Too Faced and the NYX one. And then here I just have some more lip products, which I'm thinking of just trying to use up. Otherwise, if I don't finish them, I'm just going to be in there because I have had them for a really long amount of time as well. Um, but I do really like the formula of these. These are the ELF Luscious liquid lipsticks which are just basically like a high pigmented lip gloss and i love the one in ruby slipper but i've had it for a really long amount of time as well so i'm thinking of checking those um, and then i have just the argan wear lip oil from physicians formula which i really like as well and then just right next to that i have the uh, matte perfection concealer from rimmel which i really like then at the very back, it's just pretty much the same. Uh, I just have some smaller eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow singles, and then just some liquid, oh no, not liquid, gel liner, sorry, from BH Cosmetics. So I have these, these colored ones, so like pink and teal and stuff like that, and I just have two pigments as well. So I have Rimmel, Paisley Cosmetics, Sephora eyeshadows, kind of like a good mix, as well as some star looks and stuff like that as well. This last little section has just kind of my powders and stuff like that. I have been using um, the butter blushes from Fission's Formula, but I want to use them some more. I've been using the one in natural girl which is just more of a highlight and i really do like how it looks on the skin i haven't used uh this one that much which is the one in plum rose i think yeah the plum rose one these really do smell yummy though they smell like coconut and i haven't tried this out that much yet so i really do want to try it out the bronze booster um i've been trying these on and off as well so i just have some milani blushes and then the wet and wild um uh, highlighters. I do want to use them some more, hence I've left them in this drawer just for now and then probably later on maybe in the month I will move them down to like with the rest of my blushes and stuff like that. 
Then I have powders from Paisley Cosmetics. So these are all my loose powders and one illuminating powder as well. And, and then I have one loose one from Elle Cosmetics, which is just their under eye one, which I really do like. It's nice and brightening, but not too brightening. And then I just have pressed powders, which is from Elf and Makeup Forever. So the last little section has some eyeshadow palettes from Rimmel. So if you'd like to see a makeup tutorial using these, like a first impressions, I haven't been able to use them just yet. Um, but if you'd like to see that, do let me know in the comments below. And if you've tried these out, do also let me know in the comments below how you found them. And I just have a little sharpener, makeup remover from Clinique. Um, it's just the take of the day off makeup remover. It is a little bit more on the oily side, so that's why I tend to use it just like at the end of the day. Um, also, if I need to do like a correction, if I've done a mistake with my eyeliner, that's why I also tend to use it as well. Then I just have some lip liners from Milani, Makeup Forever, Sephora, and then one Claire Brow Mascara Gel, which I really like this for my brows. It just is not too wet of a formula and it sort of holds my brows in place. And then lastly, I have the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray, which I keep forgetting to use um, the day after I put, apply my makeup. So hopefully I remember this month. So fingers crossed I can tell you guys a little bit more of how I find this. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comments below. Have you got a jaw like this? What products are you trying out this month? I love hearing from you guys. So please do leave your comments down below. As well as that, I'll also link my social medias down in the description box. So if you like, please do find me those just so you're kept to know of when I do upload. And yeah, thank you again so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.